I'm here, exactly 7.7 .7 kilometers away from home, in the middle of nowhere, to ask you an important question. What is faster, an astronaut or an air rifle? So, I know what you're thinking, what am I doing back here? Well, that will all become clear later. Now, we all know that spacecraft and their astronautical occupants go very, very fast. But are they faster than a speeding bullet? Well, we'll never know, because I don't own a gun. But I do have this really old air rifle. Spring air rifles like this one work by pushing a spring into a locked position. When you pull the trigger, the spring is released and pushes a piston forward. The sudden compression of air propels the pellet out of the barrel. Bang. Now, I'm not really sure how old mine is, maybe 40 or 50 years if I had to take a guess, but that's nothing. The oldest air gun that's still in existence today dates back to 1580, and it's considered to be one of the earliest forms of pneumatic technology. However, it didn't use a sprung piston like mine. Instead, it used bellows located in the stock. Anyway, that's enough of the history lesson. Let's see how this baby performs. So to work out the speed of the pellet, we're going to need some kind of high-tech speed measuring device, like this piece of paper. I put one on the end of the barrel down there, and I'm going to put another one here exactly 10 metres away. We've got a camera down there and we've got a camera here, and by comparing the two, we should be able to figure out the speed of the pellet. Well, that was dramatic. Anyway, let's do the sums. We lined up the footage and we found that it took seven frames to pass through both pieces of paper. We were shooting at 120 frames per second, so if we first divide one by 120, we get one 120th of a second. Multiply that by seven gives us how long it took for the pellet to travel 10 meters, about 0.0583 seconds. Divide that by 10 because the sheets were 10 meters apart and we have the time it took to travel just one meter. So just move the decimal point down a place. That's great, but this is seconds per meter and what we want is meters per second. So just divide one by 0.0058333 and we get our answer, 171 meters per second. And that's fast, but is it faster than an astronaut. Well, let's take the International Space Station as our average astronaut speed. After all, that's where astronauts have spent the most time on average, with about 16 years of continuous inhabitancy. The ISS orbits the Earth every 90 minutes, travelling at a staggering 27,600 kilometres per hour, or 7,700 metres per second which is really, really fast. Much faster than our pellet, which would need to be travelling more than 45 times quicker to catch up with our astronaut. But what does that speed actually look like? And that's why I'm here, 7.7 .7 kilometres or 7,700 metres away from my house. It's the same distance as an astronaut aboard the ISS travels in a single second. It took us 12 minutes to drive here, so let's see what that looks like, ISS style. But first, let's see it at the speed of our pellet, 171 metres per second. I think you get the idea. So now let's see it at 10 times that speed. And finally, 
This is what this journey, 7.7 kilometers, would look like aboard the ISS. 45 times faster than my air rifle. And go. And in case you missed it, here it is again. Now, going at that speed, an astronaut aboard the ISS could travel from Bristol to London in about 22 seconds. In fact, he could travel from London to Edinburgh in about a minute and a half. Now that is really fast, but it's not the fastest thing that man has ever made. That prize would probably go to Juno. Juno, the $1 billion NASA satellite that was launched in 2013, used the Earth's gravitational pull to slingshot its way towards Jupiter, accelerating it to 40,000 meters per second in the process. Now that's five times faster than the ISS. And there you have it. An astronaut really is faster than an air rifle. Who knew? Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, then please subscribe. I've been Dom, and you've been watching everything. <laughs> <laughs>